Hello, I'm Dr. Beth Godey. And I'm Dr. Martha Leatherman. I'm a geriatric specialist in psychiatry. And I'm a neuropsychologist, and I specialize in aging. We're experts in dementia care, and we're here to provide you some information and answer some questions that we hear very commonly about dementia and other issues in aging. Hi, um, I was reading uh, some information online and questions and about Alzheimer's, and uh, a woman was a bit frustrated uh, with her physician, and the question she posed online was, you know, my, my mother was diagnosed with vascular dementia, but then later they told me it was Alzheimer's, and why couldn't they just tell me the Alzheimer's at first? You know, why did they tell me vascular dementia and then the Alzheimer's? And I got to thinking about that spectrum of disorders, the vascular dementia and Alzheimer's, and we've talked a little bit about the different kinds of dementia, but I've heard that kind of question too from my patients. Well, you know, the doctor at first thought it was dementia, then he said Alzheimer's. And why is that? What is it about these diseases that makes them hard to distinguish? So I thought we'd talk about that today. And the other thing that, that we've heard from families is, well, what, what does it really matter? You know, dementia is dementia, and, and uh, we just don't use the term Alzheimer's, and what difference would it make? And there's just, there's a lot of confusion out there mm -hmm. about what's going on with your loved one, and what should you pay attention to, and what should you really be concerned about, and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how, how do people tell what's Alzheimer's, what's specifically vascular dementia, what's just a frontotemporal dementia. Mm -hmm. It can be very confusing for, for families especially. Well, let's start with vascular dementia. What that basically means is that all of the nerve cells in your brain are nourished and oxygenated by a blood system in the brain. It's a very complex, very extensive network of blood vessels that nourishes the brain. And if you think about um, a complex of tree roots, it's, it's very intertwined like that. If you have vascular disease, including coronary disease, heart disease, um, blood vessel disease, that kind of thing, narrowing of the arteries, you're going to have that going on in the brain too. And what will happen is that areas of the brain get poor oxygenation, poor blood supply, and they can become what we call ischemic, or actually the brain cells will die. You know, my favorite example or analogy about what you're talking about is when you're watering your front lawn. Think of how much water it takes for your front lawn. Mm -hmm. and, and your examples about uh, drought conditions versus not so much rain for a short period of time is really good. I wish you would do, tell them about that for sure. Well, when we talk about um, TIAs versus strokes, we can do that. But right now, I'm talking about strokes where the supply is cut off to areas of the brain, and those areas die. And classically, we call that a stroke or multiple of those you're going to get some evidence of cognitive problems and that's dementia and that's vascular dementia now in the old um, older literature they talk about vascular dementia as being a stair step pattern of deterioration my assistant here has a visual aid for this that. Is the correct way. That's the correct way. So if you can see, it's the stair step, um, and things are fine for a little while. Then there's a blood supply uh, interruption, and function decreases, cognition decreases. There's a deterioration, a stepwise deterioration over time. And it's rather, it can be a rather sudden deterioration. Yes. It's like, wow, you know, last week she could do this action and, and right. this, today she can't. So almost like what you'd see after a stroke. Well, in Alzheimer's, what we talk about, and here's our Alzheimer's visual aid, 
in Alzheimer's, what we talk <laughs> about is a, a, a progressive, steady decline in functioning. So it's a smooth course. Where it gets, that's good, thank you. Where it gets difficult is when you have little bitty strokes over the time. And if you can think about um, a whole bunch of small areas of, of uh, vascular interruption or blood supply interruption in the brain, you're gonna get something that looks a little bit more like this. Yes, it's stair step, but really the, the functional decline is so small that to an observer, to a clinician looking at it, it looks like the deterioration in Alzheimer's. So that's what can happen when people um, look at vascular dementia and, and think that it looks like Alzheimer's. They may be looking at actually a true vascular dementia, but just enough small steps in deterioration. Earlier I used the word spectrum, and there is some good evidence that, that I really believe is, is accurate, that Alzheimer's is probably a spectrum disorder. That in these cases of tiny deterioration in the vascular um, condition of the brain, it's such an overlap with Alzheimer's that it's almost the same thing. And there, there are some other parts of that, that inflammation in the brain happens every time there's one of these tiny little strokes that then causes some of the problems like the plaques and tangles that you see in the Alzheimer's brain from the inflammation. So, so there is a big gray area, and I think that's where families get confused when you know, one doctor says it's vascular dementia, another doctor says it's Alzheimer. They're probably both right, but looking at different parts of that spectrum. Um, so I hope that clears things up a little bit on this. And in our next one, uh, our next video, we want to talk about who cares? What are the implications of all of that? For more answers to questions like these, our book, The Insider's Guide to Dementia Care, is available at Amazon.com.